Bravo Dodinsky, and this is another Halo Championship Series update. Season 2 of the HCS has come to a close, and with it, we've seen a fantastic series of online and LAN tournaments, plus the high-stakes Season 2 Finals from ESL. There are the top 8 teams with the most HCS points battled it out for their share of our biggest prize pool yet, $150,000. While the prize money is always a nice incentive, most teams were simply determined to take down the Season 1 champs and the team that dominated the entirety of Season 2, Evil Geniuses. But despite all efforts, including a stellar attempt in the Grand Finals from Counter Logic Gaming, EG's rule over the HCS could not be undone. Snipedown, Lunchbox, Roy, Lethal, and Coach Towie will retain their title as HCS champions for both Season 1 and 2, and will no doubt be looking to hold on to that moniker with the release of Halo 5 Guardians later this year. Let's now take a closer look at the HCS Season 2 Grand Finals match between CLG and Evil Geniuses. He really, really wants this. He's also a fucking friend running it over the flag ball. That's going to be it. CLG take game number one. We're going to have to see if either of these teams can get some sort of control on the map and get some sort of spawn trap. CLG, will they do it? He goes down, unfortunately, but they do. CLG take game number two. Four more seconds, and they will take game number three. EG now putting one back on the board for them. Can we see Evil Geniuses do the comeback? 30 seconds on the clock as we tie it up. 34 kills and 34 kills! 49, 50, that's it guys! CLG take the first best of five! They will push Evil Geniuses into a second set! Oh my dear CLG! Quick lethal goes down as well. Roy trying to come in, finish this bomb arm, but not able to. All four members of Evil Geniuses being a part of this arm, but it was finished by Snipedown. First arm goes to Evil Geniuses. Times we've said these guys do not want to stop the pressure. One minute now, that's going to be, I think, a double. Can avoid shots and grenades. Looks like CLG is even contesting it. That's the fifth arm for EG taking game number one and prove me wrong. Oh, he's not waiting, he says. No. We need one kill, I don't care, I'm charging. We got so many alive, just push, we can't lose as they go in. Look at the kills, EG coming back on a turn. They're gonna take game number seven. They're just 10 seconds away from $75,000. Can they see this one now? Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it. Championship Series Season 2 Grand Champions! Congratulations once again to Evil Geniuses on their well deserved win. Their dominating run these past two seasons have been something of legend in Halo Esports, and we couldn't be more proud of the entire team. And while we know just what EG can do in the world of Halo multiplayer, the team dynamic outside of Halo remains a mystery. To remedy this missing link in the EG story, we took the team out on a little adventure to find out who they are, how they get along, and most importantly, who they'd want by their side during the impending zombie apocalypse. The secret about my teammates is they are extremely big ragers. If the zombie apocalypse happened, I definitely want Tally. Yeah, he's a big body body blocker. So you got zombies coming at you, just throw Tau at him. Tally definitely gets the most frustrated with lunchbox. Those two bicker back and forth all the time. I make it my job to annoy Jason. Tally is walking bad luck. I've had the worst travel experiences you've ever heard of. I stopped checking luggage because it was lost more than half the time. My flight got delayed here. I've been stranded in almost every airport. Something no one knows, well some people know this, but he's an excellent juggler. Lunchbox. <laughs> Just, we're best friends that are basically brothers. I mean, I get under his skin and he gets under my skin for the dumbest things. In a zombie apocalypse, who would I have? Not Lunchbox. He would just get annoyed of something and just charge and die. He acts like the responsible adult. He's, you know, dad box. Also, don't eat in Lunchbox's truck. Ever. Lunchbox has a rule, no eating in his truck. He will kill you. I'd probably choose to be stranded with Roy. 
Uh, Roy is just like a little kid trapped in a big adult sized body still. I've never called a teammate out specifically unless it's Roy really. Like he's, you know, if, he's, if I see him do a bad play in game, I yell at him for it and he'll do the same with me. But. There's really no filter between me and lunch and we definitely like to push each other's buttons. Uh, they bicker back and forth all the time and it's very comical. I don't know if the twin telepathy thing is real. The twin bickering is very real. Well, they got some sort of weird something going on there where they just know what each other are doing the entire time. I think it's a blessing to be honest that they're twins. TJ is quiet, but uh, honestly, Lethal is one of the best teammates that I've ever had, if not the best, um, outside of Lunchbox. He definitely is a quiet guy. A lot of times it's behind the scenes. He likes to put on that, that cool guy persona in front of the camera, but behind the scenes he'll let loose. TJ is a character. TJ is a great character. I'd say Lethal's role is basically kind of the jack of all trades. He's the least whiny person on the team. All work, no play. He doesn't complain ever. You'll never hear the guy complain. The last one to room with? <sighs> Probably Eric. Snipedown is one of the best guys you'll ever meet on the circuit. He's very relaxed, respectful. Yeah, he's the best sniper in the game. He can be quiet sometimes, but uh, when you get into a game and he pulls off something, he just he's the loudest person you'll ever meet. He's the guy that's kind of behind us and uh, you know getting those picks that we have to have when all of us are dying and we don't have any kills. I've only actually done one road trip with them. Road trips with your best friends are always fun. It was fun, except for Tawi. When he has control of the music, he never actually lets the song finish. <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> I'm the worst. With the close out of Season 2 and as we prepare for the release of Halo 5 Guardians, we also bid a fond farewell to competitive play on Halo 2 Anniversary. Remember, you can relive all the greatest moments from the entirety of the Halo Championship Series Seasons 1 and 2 right here on the Halo Channel, with VOD from every HCS LAN tournament to date. But if you can't wait until launch in October, we've got you covered. This weekend we'll be hosting the Halo 5 Guardians Gamescom Invitational by ESL live from Germany. There, four of the top Halo Pro teams from all over the world will compete in the first ever Halo 5 pre-launch arena tournament. As always, you can watch all the action right here on the Halo channel or twitch.tv slash Halo. It all goes down on Friday, August 7th. But that's not all we have in store for the future of Halo Esports. Check out this sneak peek of the Halo World Championship, where the best of the best will compete for a prize pool starting at $1 million. Look guys, you all play Halo, that's why you're here. This is the ultimate test of player versus player, lightning fast reflexes, and all around Spartan badassery. was the, one of the most incredible matches I've ever seen. I, I absolutely live for this. Look at the crowd here. They are hyped up. This is Halo! Stay tuned for more details on the Halo World Championship in the coming months. Until then, I'm Andy Bravodinsky for the Halo Championship Series. We'll see you at Gamescom.